frustrating day. Uh, yeah. A little uh, scuffle with uh, Kyle Weatherman, your teammate, man. What, yeah. what, what was that all about? Uh, I mean, he just ran into me, so a little frustrated because we're back there running in like the mid 20s, and to just like run your teammate over, you know, I. We all just work way too hard on these cars. This is the only car, mile and a half car we have, and it's actually a short track car. So to about put it in the fence, you know, it's just no respect. But you know, he hasn't respected me all year. I just have had enough of it. You know, so um, you know, you got to respect your team owner and your teammates. Otherwise, you just don't make it very far in this business. So um, yeah, a little frustrated with that. It cost me a couple spots, but in the end, it didn't really matter. Um, we had that um, late, late race caution, and then I came in. I put laps on it just to try to see if I could make up some ground on some of those guys and just so difficult to pass restart things are narrow and chaotic so um i was able to stay out of the crashes and wound up getting a 20th so we'll take it but it's definitely been a frustrating year um we just got to keep working and try to find some more speed in our chevy camaros but um you know we'll take it and, and move on to an interesting next week at chicago road course we'll see how that goes and um then on to atlanta where we finished 13th earlier this year so hopefully we can get back on this screen of um top 20 runs like we were having um, before the west coast you can have a conversation with kyle this week kyle. I, i'm sure if he wants to but i you know i i don't think he'll listen so i don't think it'll matter you point out the quarter panel what was the yeah. story behind it oh that's just where he ran into me off of two so um you know i'm, I'm obviously it, it put me up into the fence so i mean there's just frustrating, um, not necessary. I felt like I gave him plenty of room and they run into me. So, you know, it just uh, is what it is. Gotcha. Thank so I just talked to Brent Poole. I'm sure, I think you heard it on the radio that he was upset with you. First off, do you know why he was upset with you? Uh, not really. I mean, I got uh, close to his left rear off of two one time, right? Um, but yeah, as, other than that, I don't know. I didn't touch him. I know that for sure. So he can be mad at me all he wants. We'll talk about it. Uh, we'll figure it out but all good i hope <laughs> so i don't feel like i did anything wrong that's part of racing in my opinion is being able to use the air and be able to pack the air and and um yeah so i mean i use that to my advantage right and i and i have to go right i mean with with getting stuck behind slower cars you, you've got to go right and and uh I feel like i had to do that so i didn't touch him he probably mad because he got a little loose off uh off of two but he didn't hit the wall either i mean i felt like uh felt like all was good but I guess we'll talk about it and figure it out after. Would you be, you'd be willing to talk to him about oh, it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll talk about it, I'm sure. And he wants to come down here and kick my butt, I guess, is what he said. <laughs> he can come down here and we'll talk. But, um, I mean, he's obviously a teammate, right? Um, has figured it out in all seriousness, right? I mean, I don't – I work hard, right? And uh, I work hard during the week on these race cars. I know what it takes to build these things, right? So I'm not going to put anybody in jeopardy to wreck a race car, especially my own, especially a team car as well, right? But uh, – at the end of the day, it's hard to pass here, and you got to use stuff to your advantage. And um, I feel like that's, you know, kind of how it just fell, fell, fell through. So, yeah. Overall, how was your start with JD Motorsports? Really, really bad at first, <laughs> uh, but we got a lot of stuff fixed on this car uh, overnight and before qualifying. Missed qualifying a little bit. Uh, I felt like in this race, I think we really made some really clean, good adjustments, right? And, and made it a lot better. So excited to get it back, uh, get get it kind of looked at and kind of see where it's at and, and build from there. And hopefully there's more opportunities in the future. You know, you don't know what your future is for this number four car? I don't, I really don't. I, I hope there's a few, right? And we'll see kind of where it goes and uh, we'll, we'll play it by ear. Appreciate it. This is Harrison Burton, driver of the number 21. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also check out one of these two videos beside me. Visit funstretch.com for more racing content.